name for god's sake but i'm excited to get into this one man like ricardo las almas oh excited that was an eight this one like I, I asked you to start off this by the way like you know how'd you think about new york you know, you know they haven't really looked the greatest they've only won one map however jay the one map they have won is this one and they started off yeah. with the three piece this is great Oh, it's a great start off to the game. They're already trying to flip the spawns towards green as well. So perfect break off from NYC to use those frag grenades. You usually see everybody strapped with the Semtex, but that's a great opening break to potentially flip these spawns. Now you see all the focus going to be over towards this green side. All of LG spawning out towards Barbershop. Neither squads are getting much time off of this P1, but at least LAG are able to slow down the pressure for now. Maintain some map control towards this green side. Their only focus now is Skies. Yeah, as we know, the bottom side of the map is oh. your focal point as Skies comes away with two, and that will solidify spawns for next. It's a little bit of a different situation than normal hard points, Jay. Usually it's the left side of the map and the right side. However, we're working verticals this time around and a great position here for the subliners. I mean, what? It was a great beginning for Hydra. Then Sky starts to have his moment as well. It could be even more success granted for New York as they are set up for new. However, here comes LAG. Hydra is ready to strike. Oh, Hydra only is able to take down one, but the crossfires are going to be set up for NYSL. And so far, this has been a great start to this game. A lot of changes so far from last week to this week. Last time you saw NYSL on Mercado, they could not win a rotation gunfight to save their lives. So they're going to be the first team early on. They're getting some uncontested time. That's going to be two dead in the feed. Last player is up. Make it all four. A beautiful hold from New York to now give themselves a nice, comfortable cushion. And you have Precept working off that rotation. Skies already earns himself a kill streak. Yeah, Jay, I mean, like I said, we're uh, granted we're only two hard points in, but it's been flawless work so far from okay. NYSL. Skies is going to have a streak to work with. I know we talked, uh, what, last week about how really streaks helped give New York their first and only map victory on this very map and mode. We'll see if they can do it again. Thankfully for LAG, however, they have rotated toward 10. They've got a nice setup. And man, I tell you what, they desperately need some seconds right now. They're staring at 76 to zero. Now's the time. Yeah, now's definitely the time to try to get yourself back into this game. We know how much of a money hill this 10 hill can be, but when you're losing your initial gunfights off the rotation, it's not going to be easy. Scott finds the first, Neptune with the trade. Trade's going back and forth, but it's going to be NYSL successfully with the break. Beautiful pinch coming in from Hydra and Priesta to take down the final two players. Now LAG, this is a struggle that we saw them have the first time that they played this map. They can rotate perfectly. They just can't win their gunfights, and it's already causing them problems. Final 30 seconds, you're going to force LAG to now hit that early rotation over towards Barbershop. And you can tell, like, they just look a little rattled off the start. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You have two players that are trying to push for late time at, at old. We got a few players who are like, hey, we should probably go ahead and hit this rotation. An excellent, excellent start to this opening HP from NYSL. Basically, flawless COD through our first three hills. And as we said, it's going to be a broken record until they finally do it. LAG in desperate need of a hold, and maybe it could be their time over at the barbershop. Neptune trying to heat on up. He eventually gets taken down over toward the cantina, and there could be a little bit of jitters, Jay. I mean, Spartan literally just shot his teammate. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy hold. One player already spawns across the map. Last player in the point is going to be Hugh. He has to potentially get a three-piece oh, to hold it down, and New York another break to now give themselves an 100 point lead lag just simply need to stop the bleeding the setup so far have not been strong new york keep on finding an opening and that's why you see the score line as lopsided as it currently is final 30 seconds on this p4 hard point lag are able to execute the break but if you're new york you're not mad at all all you have to <laughs> focus really on not. now is this rotation over towards that thin area yeah, I was gonna say you can look at the scoreboard, be pretty happy with how you've started off this hard point for sure. LAG. I mean it wasn't perfect, but at least it's something. You're able to double your score in just one hard point. And one of the smaller ones, by the way. But here we go. A full on headbutt. Now over toward 10 courtyard. This Kismet and Neptune look to trade for either side. And YSO currently still do have the numbers. Arshi's trying to put him away. He gets dropped. And how about the duo? Hydra and Skies come away with a clutch too. New York, they clear the wave. Yeah, now this becomes two times harder for LAG. Once again, they're losing those rotation gunfights. Now you have to try to fight in through 10. Neptune does find the opening onto Hydra, and that's going to be two dead. This is the break that they were looking for. Last play on the point is preset, and that is a successful break that LAG desperately needed to get themselves back to this game. Final 30 seconds, it all has to go in their favor, and then you have to make sure you know where that next rotation is going to come into. Second story of that green building. Already NYSL are in control of that side of the map. You're going to have one player in the middle of the God Eglitch. Oh. And unfortunately, Arsides is not able to find that kill. 
The trade does come in, but it's going to be New York set up off that rotation, winning gunfight after gunfight. New York looked to be in a great position again. They've got the rotation. They also have a streak in case they happen to get broken on it. However, it just feels like that is not going to happen right now. LAG trying to set up shop, kind of trying to make a, a little bit of a some checkpoints throughout Ooh. this map. However, Kismet has got three. A wonderful little play. They're coming in from Matthew Tinsley. He's also putting in some work toward the trophy, the ultimate teammate. We said Mr. Do It All last year, and right now he is doing all of the dirty work necessary for the roster. Now on four in a oh. row, and Jay, he is Ooh. lighting them up. No matter where gorillas are coming from, New York consistently have got their number. Maybe a moment where they could get a little bit of success as the SMGs fly forward. That's Hook with two. Find the massive two, final 25. Gonna be in towards top green. You know the rotation is gonna go in towards back parking lot. NYSL have no problem contesting this to the very end, trying to get as much junk time as they possibly can. They're still putting a lot of pressure on though. They're also able to take down Hook off that rotation. And this is not good. This is not good if you're LAG. You put a lot of focus on that remaining junk time at P6, and now you lose the rotation over towards P7. New York can potentially get pretty damn close to closing out this game. LAG need a break now. It's crazy. Like, we're still the first set of rotations and we're already calling out about, about the fact that, yeah, this one could be over if this hill ends up going a certain direction. It is wild stuff. When we talk about, we have seven hard points. Seven hard points. Thing. Yep. But, tell you what, man, you're looking at a 90 point deficit still. If you're LAG, a full 60 would do wonders for you. Doesn't look like that's going to happen as we do have one streak called in. No kills, I believe, officially inside oh. of that feed as Hydra makes quick work of Hook. A few players to contest. Arsties jumps on in for a moment, but. This is regardless going to be a solid first set of rotations here for the subliners. And Jay, this is where we've, you know, been a little bit worried about this Gorillas roster, right? A 0.83 in respawns after opening weekend. The slang just does not look like it's improved at all since then. Yeah, the slang is not there right now for LAG. They are winning a couple rotation gunfights, but when you're winning that rotation and then you're losing your gunfights, only getting about 15 uncontested seconds until NYSL execute the break, you're never going to find success like that. Now we find ourselves all the way back towards P1. Basically has to be flawless hard point from here on out for LAG. You have to make sure you're maintaining that green control, but you see those two gunfights that go down across the map. This is going to allow NYSL to now force them to get off of that point. You want to maintain this green side. Great plays from Hoop right there, but NYSL get on the time. Yeah, and that's the problem, right? If you are gorillas, you have to contest for this time. You're also trying to hold down the spawn. The positive for NYSL is that they have the freedom, right? They can make the kind of high risk, high reward play because they've got uh -huh. a lot of chips to play with for the moment. Spart going to rock dead silence, tries to get out of a bad situation. Really, every player on LAG relying on each other to try to come away with the clutch. P1 time. It's a 1v1 that goes New York's way. Another positive for them, less than 20. Before they can call this game theirs, Gorillas, it is going to take a prayer. They are going to have to lock down this cantina, watch every doorway, watch every window, and pray that they can just keep this game going for a little longer. And New York, they have the numbers advantage. They're winning every single gunfight once again. I think so far with the meta change, it's been a two SMG side for the uh, subliners. This has been beautiful. Nonstop pressure coming in from Kismet and Hydra. Those guys are just putting the opposing team in the headlock with how aggressive they are on the map. 20 seconds away from them closing out map number one. Kismet oh. not slowing down. Hit the dolphin dive. Let's challenge them toward the bottom of the door. Unfortunately, can't win it, but now it's Priest's turn. You can still close it out on this P2 hardpoint. This is not looking good. LAG need to have an answer. Yeah, and thankfully, I mean, RG's able to come away with a few. You're shooting at teammate. That's a teammate. There is no comms. There is no comms going off from LAG. This is just a disastrous opening HP. As this, that's happened multiple times, by the way, Jay. Like, we've seen it from the gorillas. They're shooting their teammates on accident. They are down big. And what looks to be the final hard point gets ready to begin. LAG, can you find a bit of magic? Can you find the break? As you're going to need to find all three. And the French Phenom has got some words. All four in the feed for gorillas. Ten more seconds. And this one is done. Oh, yeah, it's all over. New York are fully set up. They know exactly where they're coming from. They have to flood through dark and through middle alley. The trades are going to be abound. And NYSL come out swinging in map number one. I was really nervous for these guys when they came to the teamwork because we saw all throughout last week, they simply just did not have it. 
But that meta change so far has done wonders for this team. You have Kismet and Hydra working hand in hand. Skies and Priesta making sure they're controlling the spawns. And they're winning the gunfights. Beautiful, beautiful first hard point team. And he's usually a standout player in this most specifically is Spark. His current yeah. KD is at a 0.77. I know it's a small sample size. They've only been able to play four Search and Destroy maps, but this is a guy who has the ability to take over in Search and Destroy, especially with that sniper in hand. Without a doubt, we'll see if some snipers are going to be pulled out in round number one, at least for Priest on the cross. He's not going to have that one for the moment. As LAG will start off this Embassy Search and Destroy on the attacking side. Meanwhile, for NYSL, it is all about finding early bits of information. And boy, has Kismet got all the info he could ever need Thankfully for New York, he stays alive. Yes, yeah, beautiful place to get out with your life. Great up and dive and Priesta also finds that first play. Gets a little bit of assistance from middle map. Priesta finds two skies with the third. And what I thought was great map control taken from LAG. A two piece from Priesta answers the call one before left up the hook. Yeah, they basically run right to the jaws. They set the trap and they'll make them pay for it. LAG. A commanding halt here in round number one. Like you said, it all started with a nice little pick from Priesta. You can see, man, it is all out focused from NYSL on the bottom side of those player cams. Not looking good, Jay. Uh, it's not looking good for Gorillas. They seem uh, pretty down at the moment. Yeah, that was just a perfect setup right there from New York, though, to come out aggressively towards that B-bomb. You know how that can usually cost you in these early rounds when they set the tone by planting that bomb immediately down towards B. They were super aggressive in towards orange, super aggressive towards top AC, cut off that that entirety of the map and just basically forced everyone to run into the preamble Priesta. That's not an easy gunfight to do. NYSL up 1-0. This time they're going to take it a little bit slower on their attacking rounds, trying to catch any players from LAG being a little bit over aggressive. Yeah, as we said, NYSL, not good numbers so far in search and destroy. 0-2, however, they only have played Hotel. Take a look at a nice little creeping up Neptune We'll hear that nade be cooked. We'll see if he eventually decides to go for the challenge. It's Kismet. He it does expire some fire, at least off the start of this round. The first one to do so. And with that, let's just take a look at the position from LAG. You got everybody waiting for the pick to happen. Maybe a tad over aggressive as the trades favor NYSL off the start. Great work for them to get the information to those top middle windows. Finally opening two kills. And bomb is going to be going down, but Arsenis, he might have found the timing. He's able to get that player off bomb, but the bomb actually does get planted. His was also is going to be known, but now with 40 seconds left, he's able to play his life. 2v2, 35 seconds. You have to eliminate these players outside of PD. Mon Spark goes hunting. Could it work out for a trade? Skies, smart play. Decides to rock dead silence. Make sure the bomb is clear. Fires at nothing, but that's okay. He's got stun pistol out and LAG successful on the retake i give it a 10 out of 10 arsenis was dolphin diving all over the map but thankfully this time it ends up leading to a bit of success what a round that that was needed for the gorillas they're able to grab it put one up on the board now we head into round three with a tie yeah arsenis just found the timing right there he found the timing even though that bomb does get planted you saw Priest that he was actually on those planners on the backside. He potentially should have easily got that kill onto Arsenis. But once that teammate calls out, Bomb is going to get down. Let's all back up. That backup moment, that small piece of communication got the repositioning to coming out of Priesta. He wasn't able to close out that kill onto Arsenis. And then Arsenis, since he picks up that kill with Dead Silence, no hesitation on the push. Able to close out the round for LAG 1 1. You know what Skies was shooting at, by the way, on the bomb? Uh, I don't know. It might have been Casper. I don't know. <laughs> might have been Casper. Could have been. I don't know. I was a little confused. I was like, is he really mad at like a trophy or something? No idea. Regardless, LAG tied things up at one of one. Arsenis, the first one to fall. The leader has really been dropped, but thankfully for Neptune, he's able to put a Hydra away. So a sweat off the brow type of situation. You don't have to deal with the French Phenom for the rest of this round. Number three. It's clearing out the stalls, making sure no one's in that position. The Skunk did some great work in this really same position last time, but it is the Vaznevs of LAG seeing success in the mid round. It is a man disadvantage for New York. So now in the 3v2, you know, Spart, that player calling out anyone towards the top window. Neptune trying to just stay alive. Great shots coming in from Skies, but not able to pick up the kill. 30 seconds and counting. Priest is able to find one to drop out. So now it's a 2v2. Bomb still has to get planted. If you are Skies in this position, all you have to do is just play for this guy on the bomb site. Unfortunately, he's going to run right into the preamp of Neptune. 1v2. Oh, and Hook's able to put him away. LAG. As we said, they lose their leader, but they're able to pick up the pieces regardless of it. 
And finally, when New York is able to drop in a first blood, it does not end up going their way. And well, it may not be the response, Jay. Like I said, it's a welcoming sight. If you're an LAG fan, it's S and D who yeah. cares. See Neptune and Hook making some plays like that. The coordination, these two guys, you know, getting teamed at the very end of the last title. I want to see them get really on the same page. It really felt like it in that round, LAG up two to one. And that last round, like New York gets first blooded, but then Hydra just tries to be Superman again. He was trying to check if that bomb was down of the player that crosses towards B. It wasn't, but then he beats a little bit over aggressive and just gives up his life for free. So we cannot allow that to happen because he just basically gifted that round to LAG. Oh. The timing is here, but Hydra with the gunny, he would have get the first blood on the hook. I think he might have even shut the door as well. A proper gentleman. Everybody's dolphin diving oh! away with skies. My word, what a shot on to Arsenis. A knife to the heart, if you will, considering he thought he was good to go. Another position found for NYSL as they continue to gain real estate here on Embassy and their next target is going to be over at that tennis court. Only man in ears distance is going to be Neptune. Spart will look to join really him in this very difficult 2v4 endeavor. Yeah, Neptune position, he's going to get caught. Now it's all left up to Spart. His position is now going to be known. Bomb should be getting planted. Great shots on to Priesta, but New York decided, hey, we're not even going to plant it. 1v4, we're all going to fly at the guy. And that's a great answering round right there from New York to find that first blood on the back of Hydra. Great gunfight, great timing to find that first kill onto Hook. And then what a shot from Skies. Once he picks up that kill, you've seen both of the players from LAG start to hit their rotation back towards A. That eventually opens up that B point, even though the bomb doesn't get planted. When you're hitting shots like that, it makes the game a whole lot easier. New York, 2-2. Absolutely does. You see Arsenis maybe wants to get the better of Skies considering how that last round went. Current 2-2 two, two score line. And already it looks to be better S&D so far from the subliners. Because we do have Dead Silence popped here for Kismet and it is a full three-man route. It's a conga line toward the backside of PD. They have to have all popped their Dead Silence. Arsenis gets made quick work of. Another first blood granted for New York. LAG quick to turn around. We'll see how the timing ends up working out as Kismin Co. Try to make some plays over at the stairs. Neptune spotted and deleted. Another kill coming in from Kiz. LAG. Oh. And swivel and Hook. Soul man alive. Best of luck. Bomb is going to be down towards lower of the ladder. Hook is about to earn his dead silence, but this might not be a round that you want to invest it in. As New York have full control of PD, they know where the bomb is going to be down. Uh -oh. A sniper is also <laughs> able to figure out where Hook is. The challenge is going to come in from Kismet, and Kismet said, give me the ace. What a beautiful play call right there from New York. You have Skies is watching the cross, obviously with the sniper. He's going to give you all the information. But then the three through flank, with everyone popping dead silence, you could just tell LAG were not ready for that. No one was watching Deep Street Side. They were expecting them to pet, have the standard set up. Probably one player watching the cross, one player towards orange, one player eventually peeked towards top AC. But once they don't get any information at that point, one of your teammates already dropped because the map control that NYSA were able to secure. Beautiful, beautiful play call to send three on flank. Everyone used their dead silence. Well, I mean, what the word that we used in the last search destroy that you actually and I casted over in New York was unorganized. It just didn't look like anybody was on the same page. This time, I mean, you, you're literally seeing players rock dead silence at the same time going for strats the calls have been great so far for new york as they have really gone round for round punch for punch versus as we said what we expect to be a very good search destroy team in the gorillas it's finally rc is able to get on the board the nice stun does work out favorably for lag as that trade will go to them and really for new york bomb in a very awkward spot at the b site yeah bomb's in a tough situation but skies it's now your turn Try to play for a kill. Spart is able to spot him. That's trying to get out with his life. Does exactly that. Get some assistance from RCDs as well to back these players down from street. But time is starting to tick. Eventually, someone has to make a play, and it might be Kismet, who's able to sneak his way all the way towards Xbox. Unfortunately, he's still trying to get some information of where these players are, but that bomb's still going to be down. You have to eventually plant it. Well, yeah, he's definitely made his way through. They did not see him. Pretty sure they assumed Arsenis had the cross. This kill, a gift. 
Now at five in a row for Kismet. 2v2, 10 seconds. Sky tries to go for the bomb. Not going to pan out for Kismet. Well, he does see a uh, sprinting spark. Gets gifted his sixth kill in a row. So you've got the streak. The round will go to LAG, but really toward the end, it's not at all for not. Both teams basically get what they wanted. Yeah, LAG, they get the defensive round win. Obviously, on the side of New York, Kismet earns himself that airstrike. So that could be crucial in these later rounds of this search and destroy. But it was all about the pressure in towards Orange. Once Hook finds that, Neptune actually finds that kill onto Hydra. The trade does come in, but now the bomb is down at B. You have to overextend to try to pick that up and eventually work the bomb plant. New York basically chalked that one up. You gave the kills to Kismet. Now you're going to have an airstrike to potentially use that towards top AC to open up that B plant next time around. Really needs tossed. And it will land. Be. Shout out to the observing team for catching that one. Neptune's going to hold that one going into the next round. And that is a difficult oh. to swallow. How about the snap from Caesar? Picture perfect, pixel perfect, whatever you want to say. An amazing shot coming in from Skies as it will put the bomb carrier, the man with the objective on his back. Now to have to try to even this one out, creeping his way through the kitchen, through the stairs he goes. LAG instantly put in a chokehold off the start. And at least Hook is able to find one. Who's able to find one? He does open up the door, gets okay. the timing on the priest of massive two kills coming in from Hook. So you probably just want to get this bound immediately down towards A. Hydra does invest his dead silence, but it's not going to decide to hit that bomb. So now 45 seconds left. Sport still going to be the player in towards top bathrooms. Able to take down Hydra. 1v2. All left up to Kismet. All left up to Kiz. Throws out the stun. Good work, but can't finish off Hook. How about the return out of the Gorillas? A 2v4 clutch in which Hook is involved in basically every single fight. We wrote him off to start this round, but Hook comes screaming back. Excellent plays out of LAG to bring that round away from what looked to be unwinnable. What a play from Hook. The fact that he was able to crouch wug his way all the way towards top kitchen, find that opening kill, and then finesse his way on the second kill onto Priesta. No hesitation on the bomb plant. Right there, it's just New York in the 4v2. They gave him a lot of map control. No one was watching middle. No one was watching to push that towards bottom bathroom. And that was the opening that Hook found. Eventually closes out the round. This time, Hydra, he's able to take him down in that same exact position for the first blood. <laughs> Hydra is just go, 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 man. He finds that first blood. He sprints, gets onto the site. Did look a little weird there for LAG. I think Spart was hesitant to want to ADS there with the sniper as his teammate ran through middle in front of him. Another pick for New York as they're eager to finally close out what was for a moment a 2v4. Now make it a 1v4. Neptune's at least able to find one, but New York rebound. 4-4. Too clean. Way too clean right there on that attacking round. They obviously cross towards B. Hydra finds that opening kill in towards bottom PD. Once you do that, you got the bomb planted. Now you know no one is going to risk that late flank. Especially when you know a player on the side of LAG does have a sniper pistol in hand. It's a beautiful round right there from New York to take the aggressive to them. Now 4-4. Four, four. Good responding round from NYSL. And as we said, man, you just wait for this guy to begin to erupt. Hydra starts things off with the first blood, gets the bomb down. So far, this game has not been about him. It's been about Kismet. Bill has that streak in hand. Precision can come in at any moment. Now, LG are going to be aware of that. A few faulty stuns tossed off the star, but it's okay. Guys, we still love you, buddy. Oh, I thought that first blood belonged to him. In fact, it's actually Arsene's coming away with the first one. As he'll drop Hydra and LAG potentially. They start to extend. It's a dolphin dive for both teams. Kismet is slithering on everywhere oh. on the map. A quick little trade. LAG still with man advantage. LAG still with man advantage. And Neptune doesn't even worry about the bomb plant. Immediately hits through orange. Finds that kill onto skies. Now it's all left up to Priesta. And the 1v3. He does find himself in a great position. But it's looking like this bomb. Still not going to get planted yet. Dead Silence no longer in his back pocket to work with. Crouching simulator all around the map. They know exactly where he is. And LAG don't give him any breathing room. Great plays from them on that attacking round, more specifically on Neptune. To not slow down when he got control of orange, finds three kills on the round. Now that puts LAG at game point. Yeah, it just feels like Neptune and Hook, but so far been making 
some excellent plays so far throughout this search and destroy. We called upon them in the respawn, and while they weren't able to deliver in the Mercado, they both had their moments where they've shined so far throughout this search and destroy, having to dig deep versus an opposing NYSL side who is just so hungry to try to get their first W on the board. See if it can happen here for LAG. One around the way from Colin. This game number two, theirs. The Spart will look to sport the snipe. Both teams playing for picks. Dildy exchanged. Comms as well. And here comes the streak. It lands. Cuts down Arsene's great first opening kill there for New York. As they look to decide which bomb site they want to attack. Yeah, that was a beautiful opening kill, especially towards that A site, because now you're going to force a couple players from LAG to hit that early rotation. Kidsman finds another one, but now it's on Hook. A guy that was able to slip through and clutch up a couple rounds for LAG. He's able to find one, makes it a 3v2, still is running around with that silent, so he's going to be completely silent. As that bomb for New York is going to slowly start to creep up towards A. Smart, you have to try to at least get one player life. Unfortunately, oh. can't line up the shot with the snipe. And now it's going to be a free A bomb plant, 3v2. And that missed shot could be what sends us to around 11. Pops dead silence just to get out of the sticky situation. But bomb down. LAG now left in a position to retake. The sniper duel. Can he make good on his missed shot earlier? Not going to happen. This guy is trying to toy around with them. Oh, and it does not <laughs> work out at all. Gorillas line up for two. Caesar puts them to bed. And we have got ourselves a round 11. Such a beautiful Blake call right there from New York. They invest that streak to the solo player who watches towards A. Once you get that first blood, you know that LAG players now have to rotate towards that side of the map. You catch another player lacking. 4v2, the trade does come in. But then at that point, one spark gives up his positioning by missing that snipe. You get that bomb down. You play it beautifully. A little bit of great movement coming in from Skies to final, final two kills. And we are here with a round 11. New York on the defensive side. Time for OT, baby. Four lives either side. No chance to come back. New York trying to go up two to zero. LAG. What we expect to be a game mode they rely on all season long. Can it help deliver them out of a very tough spot considering how this series started? And basically what you'd expect out of a round 11, Jay. Slow, composed gameplay. Nobody wanted to give up their life first. Yeah, no one wants to make a mistake. LAG uh -oh. just trying to find an opening of how they potentially trying to set this one up. Multiple players here from NYSL. A nade does come in, but no kill for LAG. So it's final 40. Eventually, the bomb has to try to cross over. Neptune is actually going to dive his way out. And Hydra, he's ready for it. First blood, New York. And LAG have got to be careful in this situation. They can't afford to lose another member. Current three versus four. Skies continue to be a menace. For the top side of ACs, Priesta catches a roaming hook. And now it is a 2v4. A clutch they found earlier. But boy, do they need this one now. Arsenis hits the dirt. And New York close out the search and destroy. Finish things off in perfect round 11 fashion. Their first S and D win of the simply the way that they're playing right now. The gunning that they have strapped to the hip. They can win a couple of these gunfights to get out of those setups. And even better, they're starting on the defensive side. So if you're LAG, we got to get some ticks. We cannot get put in this early trap. Yeah, that's the uh, biggest thing. I feel like if you're gorillas, like just try to have a, a good round. Like, is it going to be a guaranteed, you know, 1-0 start? You know, by no means no, but at least get something going as we head into round one on Fortress Control. As you said, buddy, LAG, without a doubt, on the uh, more disadvantageous side, however, with the land that they currently have found toward the top side, they have stopped the time for the moment. In fact, it is their captain. Good old Arsenis locking down that B zone. Wins his 1v1, and here we go. They're able to sneak their way out on towards this B point. That's going to be three dead. Last player up is going to be Priesta. You're able to take that player off this B point before that, before that first segment is completed. Now it's all about holding the push. You do not have any map control. You just have to win gunfight after gunfight. Trades go down at the speed point, but it's looking like LAG. They're just trying to maintain this side of the map. They do not want to die here and potentially get put in the trap. As long as you're keeping the trades efficient, you're in a good position. But Skaz, he does find the first. So Hydra with the second. Now this is where it can get scary for the Gorilla Boys. That's yeah, the biggest thing, right? They can start to get pretty much put in a trap. A few of these players start to send themselves out of art. But LAG remaining somewhat stationary, and that will come to haunt them. Kismet 
I mean, tell you what, man, with attack in hand, doing some work. He's had some great numbers so far throughout this series and delivers in a big way. Hydra with the other two, Kismet with the third, and my goodness, the feed filled with yellow and LAG. This round is nearly chalked. It does not look like they're going to be able to do much more than this. Another solid beginning for NYSL. You've got both of your SMGs on a current four spree, and that does not look to slow down. Oh. Neptune gets killed, and with that, New York do not give up a single segment. Could not start better than that. And that was just good work from New York to not panic when LAG were able to get out towards that B point. They made sure they maintained art control. They found that one player that was on the point that was stopping that clock. And then av everything after that, Kisman was the cutoff guy, not allowing anyone to overextend through that left side. And then you also had a player in Priesta watching that double doors. Once you go clean for dead, it's very difficult to get out the base. And New York, they do end on that round with a couple players working towards some kill streaks. I'm pretty sure Kismet ends up on the five. So this airstrike could be so crucial if he can pick this one up. But unfortunately, <laughs> the Kobe over the top able to take him down. Oh my gosh, that's got to be literally the biggest caster curse we've ever seen. That's Jake. tough. That's so tough. <laughs> the doors, he's super eager. Like, hey, maybe I can walk away with a streak. And there's a nade. Regardless of that, let's go ahead and step aside for a moment. I got to catch my breath. Let's go into a listed with the subliners. On B. Yeah, he's close to your left. I hear you. I'm holding across here. Bottom single line. on me. He's not single. Dead. Yo, close single on me. Close. On B. He's close on me. He's close on me. He's close on He's close on me. 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 He's close on yeah, he's gonna go top single, I think. I'm going right. I have Spark. a precision as well. Alright, hold precision here. Hold precision. We got, we're in good spots. Top boat, top boat, top boat, dead. I'm looking nice on B, on B, on B. Yo, on B, I'm watching the push. I'm looking for Alec. On B, he's behind the stage. I'm trying to Eddie. Yo, yo, yo. Come on, on B. I'm trying to chop the chop. Yo, behind the back, back steps, back steps. Oh, behind you, back steps. Back steps, back steps. Back steps, I got naded. I can help, I can help. Back steps, I'm one shot. I got one bang from side door. Just go away now, go away now. They, 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 have, they have position. Oh, wait, yeah, never mind. Stop. 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 And those are some beautiful comments coming in from New York. All of last week, it was a 3v4 when it came to the comms. But this time, you can actually hear Hydra. When he was so far pushed up in towards Art, he was influencing the Swans, knowing exactly where his teammates had the openings. They eventually closed out that A point, and that's already a job well done on an attacking round on Fortress. They find themselves up by four lives. Nothing is going right, wrong right now for New York. Yeah, like you said, I mean, you, you heard everybody being involved like we heard priest though we heard kismet we heard skies and as you said we even heard hydra oh, dead. talking about hey we got to focus on this b zone and right now they're doing exactly that skies with the early streak progression now it's going to go and pull that one out here comes the precision causing some problems in the spawns for the gorillas neptune trying to jump out he gets dropped as well that's going to be another one for kismet oh, oh my goodness stack him up and knock him down new york how about this roster? You can see they are feeling it. These boys are confident. Oh, yeah. Smiling from chin to chin. These guys are looking good, man. Everything right now is for, for NYSL. It was all on the back of Hydra, though. Once he maintains our control the way that he did, pops a dead silence, finesses, finesses. They were able to get a clean four dead. You close out that A point. And then right there, even in that situation, when they get on that P point, Skies, great leader for the squad. Calls in the street towards the back end, makes only the focus on the pinch and through that side door of art. And New York, basically a flawless round on the attacking grounds. Gorillas the perfect call of duty from this point on to stay alive in this series. They do indeed, man. And I tell you what, very interested to hear what the mentality is right now from this roster. Down 0-2 in the series, down 0-2 in the control. Let's see how they bring it back. A listening with LAG. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Arches. I'm looking at Arches. Okay. I'm looking at Arches. 
Arch. Open Arch is open. It's open for a second. Yeah, I, don't yeah, yeah, jump outs. I don't have jump outs. Only one across. I'm trying to watch the jump outs. I'm staying close, bro. They're stunning Arches. That yeah. was me. That was me. Okay, there's that point on me. I'm staying on top. Top, 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 Close me, close me, close me. Deep left, deep left. Both in your point. Both in your point. Deep left. Two guys on P1. Two guys on P1. Child, child, insulate. Team kill, kill, kill. One was the archers, okay? Open, open, open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking the time. Yeah, yeah. One guy, one guy is going. I'm going top master, deeper. I'm standing left. Wait, hold up. I think he's in the right corner. Wait, hold up. Coming up, you guys. Coming up, you guys. Undermine. He's out. He's out. One. Yeah, one's native. Five year old. Five year old. Top O and side P1, okay? He's top O. Top O weak. P1 side maps. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm trying to go to bottom map. Okay, go, go, go. On the horse statue. Wait a second. One was horse statue. Right, whatever. Top O. Top O. He went to green. He's in the middle. Take your time. Get kills. Get kills. I'm standing front maps. I'm standing in front maps. He's on P1 time. I'm wrapping top. Bottom map. Bottom maps. Bottom maps. There's a few. Bottom maps. Bottom maps. Hydra. Like bottom left maps. He's still bottom maps. Still bottom maps. Marco. Saw you guys. I'm trying to come over. There's a few. I'm coming up, I'm coming up. There's a P1 there. Top maps. Top maps. Jump out there. I'm trying to jump across. He's probably arching. He's on me in front of you. I'm on top. He's pretty sharp. I got him. One shot close. One shot close. Uh, last you're close. You're good. They're bringing close P1 on you. I know, I know. I'm trying to get bow, bro. Open dead. They're using a shirt. We might have to go PQ right now. Close P1 dead. I got shirt. You want to go PQ? He's on PQ. He's on PQ. You got shirt. 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 Well, the LAG team that hasn't lost the hope just yet, but they are on the brink. Hydra just trying to make a play. He eventually gets taken down. Two members from LAG stack to play, and there we have it. Another minute added on to this game, and this round in particular, LAG holding on. LAG just trying to stay alive a little longer. They're maintaining map control, not putting themselves in that trap. Great job from them. So at least capture the same point. Now 13 to 14 in the lives remaining. Like a LAG currently up one. It's all about trying to find this opening through that art side. That's why New York are going to play this nice and slow. Hook does find the initial kill. And LAG, they are winning the trade battles. So this is a huge gunfight. Three sides to try to go big. And he shuts down that pressure with a massive two piece. Hydra with the third. Now all the players from LAG coming off spawn. And that is the worst case scenario because now you are in the trap. You're in the trap indeed. P Dog. As his stamp of approval here in this round, number three, Gorillas to the rock in a hard place. You can see the spawn trap. 20 seconds left. It could be the opening. However, Priesta oh. through with two more on the five spree, trying to put LAG to bed and give New York their first W of the season. They were criticized and they come back. Oh my God. An excellent, excellent series. How is that for your first dub here at MW2? A sweet little 3-0. And there we have it. Series done. All smiles on the NYSL camp. Finally, these guys are able to get their very first victory underneath their belt. And it looked pretty damn easy. That opening hard point.